Hey guys, so today we're talking about how to shake yourself free from sleep paralysis as quickly as possible. And I'd imagine if you're watching this video, then you're practicing lucid dreaming or astral travel or both, and you're experiencing sleep paralysis. And if that's the case, then congratulations, because it means that what you're doing is working. Um, when you go to sleep, your body's always paralyzed, unless you're a sleepwalker. And the reason our body is paralyzed is so we don't sleepwalk. And we don't act out what's going on in our dreams in the real world. Our body can just lay there in bed. So if you're catching yourself in sleep paralysis, it just means you're getting really good at keeping your mind awake while your body's going to sleep. And congratulations, if that's the case, you know. I would suggest if you're afraid of it, uh, to lean into it and practice harder and find yourself in the paralyzed state and just try to relax and have a lucid dream or try to enter the vibrational state from there and leave your body and have an astral projection experience. Um, but even, you know, for me, thousands of lucid dreams and thousands of sleep paralysis experiences later, I still get frightened sometimes and I still feel uncomfortable or sometimes I'm just over it and I don't want to be in that state anymore. And this is the technique I've found helps me wake up out of sleep paralysis as quickly as possible. And imagine in that state, imagine if you're paralyzed and you're in sleep paralysis, if one of your friends or someone could just come and shake you awake and be like, hey, wake up. How quickly do you think you would stop being paralyzed? It would be pretty quick, you know, that you'd come to and kind of get your wits about you again. So that's basically what this technique is. It's shaking our own bodies awake. And when you're in sleep paralysis, you can usually only control your eyes and your breath and maybe like a finger or you can kind of twitch a little. So this is what I do. I keep my eyes open and I roll them around a lot, you know, just trying to keep them active so I don't kind of sink any deeper into this sort of hypnosis, you know, of sleep paralysis. And then I exhale and inhale sharply. So exhale and then take a sharp inhale, like And as I do, I try to kick my legs out, kick my feet out and clench my hands together the whole time rolling my eyes around. So just kind of like, you know, and usually doing that two or three times, like I can start to shake myself awake pretty quickly. And uh, I've never given this technique to anyone else, so I don't know how it will work for other people. But typically it's one or two, not one or two, sorry, two or three breaths and I'm pretty much out of it, which is really fast, you know. So please let me know how it works for you. If you try it and it does work for you, I'd love to know and it would help other people as well. But like I said, if you can face it, even if you're having Hag syndrome, you know, like seeing or hearing things in the sleep paralysis state, it's probably best to try to face it and try to deal with it and get past it or just learn how to work with it, you know. All right.